Good morning. Happy Sunday. It's time for snack, water, or juice, and uh, your family. So go get those three things, snack, juice, family, and bring them back, and we will start our lesson. Okay, we are back, and it's time for discussing something that we didn't know, or a little talk time to start off our class, just to start with a nice, fresh, getting to know each other a little better. So today, my talk time is that this week was my mother's birthday, and she lives in Illinois, and she's quarantined at her house just like the rest of the world right now. And so everybody in the family made a little video for her and it, you know, we sent them to her so that on her birthday day, she had sweet videos from uh, her kids like me, her cousins, her cousins' cousins, and my cousins, and all kinds of people that love her sent her videos. So I happen to know that several of the kids that come to Grace Church have had birthdays, Elsie and Max for sure, and I think Ellie and Caroline have too. Um, and I'm not certain about anybody else, but there, I could be missing somebody. Um, but you've all had birthdays before. So today in your talk time with your family, before we start our lesson, I want you to tell each other what, which birthday was your favorite birthday ever. Your favorite birthday ever. The best one you had. Okay? So talk about that. When you've all had a turn to share about your favorite birthday ever, then come on back and we'll have our story for today. So pause. Hello, it's story time. And hi. Hi. <laughs> today to help tell our stories, I'm gonna use a couple of our puppets. And uh, so I'm gonna go get that set up and you will see this little guy and one of his friends in our story today which is found in Luke, and it's about two of Jesus' disciples who, after Jesus died and was buried and then rose again, got to spend some time with him. So you'll see this little guy and his buddy in just a minute. I'm going to need a pause for myself this time just so I can go get this, everything set up. So I'll see you in a minute. You want to hold it? So in our story today, there are two of Jesus' disciples walking down the road, and they're sad because their friend Jesus has died on the cross, and they're walking and they're talking about it, when all of a sudden, a third person is there with them. And he says, what are you guys talking about? And they said, well... Have you not heard? Heard what? What happened to Jesus of Nazareth? And how he was arrested and tried and crucified and he died. But on the third day, some of the women went to the tomb and he was gone. He's alive. And we just don't know what to think. We don't know whether to believe it or not. Hmm, well, don't you too remember all that was written about Jesus the Christ? That he would have to die on the cross, he would have to suffer to save mankind? It was written in the Bible, do you not remember? Hmm, as they walked, Jesus, ooh, the third person, told them all about the scriptures in the Old Testament and how they told all about what was going to happen when Jesus came to earth. They finally got to Emmaus, and Jesus, the third person, pretended as if he was going to go on walking. But the two had been listening so closely to what he was saying that they said, no, 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 please don't leave us. Stay with us. Have dinner with us. Stay at our house. So Jesus said, okay. So they all went in the house, and they sat down, and they had a yummy dinner together, delicious. 
And after the dinner was done, mmm, so full. That was so good. Jesus took the bread and he broke it and he gave it to the two disciples. And all at once their eyes were open. Bing! And they realized, oh, this is Jesus sitting here with us. And at that very moment, Jesus disappeared. Whoo! And the two disciples didn't know what to do. So they ran all the way back to Jerusalem to tell the other disciples, it's true, he's alive. He had dinner with us. And he told us all about the scriptures. Hi guys. So the puppets did a great job telling us our story. And now I want you to have a chance to talk to you, your family about it, to kind of get it more in your head and get it more in your heart. So I have a question for you guys to answer together. So the question is, why do you think that Jesus' two disciples, when Jesus joined them, they did not recognize who he was? Why? Why do you think that was? Okay, I'm glad you're back. I can't, I wish I could have heard all of your talking that you did with your family about why the disciples did not recognize Jesus. Um, I don't have the answer to that. I have an idea that came to me when I was praying several times this week because it kind of relates to your life right now in that you have a, a teacher at school and you have teachers at church and you might have a teacher that teaches you karate and you might have a piano teacher or a gymnastics coach. You have lots of people who teach you things. And when you come to church, you expect me to teach you about the Bible. When you go to school, you expect to learn about math and reading. But right now, you're having a lot of different uh, teaching being done by your parents or your grandparents, whoever you're with during the day when you're doing your schooling. And um, maybe Jesus just wanted us to see that sometimes it might be an unlikely person that will teach us the best lesson ever. And those disciples listened to everything he was saying as they walked down the road and they, it says they, they were amazed. And it was crazy that they didn't remember all of the teaching that Jesus had done, but for some reason, when it came out of a stranger's mouth, they kind of took it all in and were like, wow, how did we miss that? And so I'm thinking in your time right now with everything that's going on in your life and all your teaching changes, that maybe Jesus wants you to know that he has put a lot of people in your life to help teach you about Jesus, about himself, about God, his father, about the Bible, and that it is not just when you come to church that you can do your great learning. Right now with your family is the perfect time for all of you to learn together. And so I think that this story is talking to us a little bit this week about that, about the fact that the one time Jesus disguised himself so that his disciples would not be just excited to see him and maybe not listen to what he had to say, but instead they saw a stranger and learned a lot because they weren't expecting to be taught from the stranger. All right, so there's a second part to our story today and um, I'm going to take, I, oh, and <laughs> what we're going to do is this next part is when his friends see Jesus again and they're fishing. So we need a boat. We need to be in a boat. So I had some ideas. You could build a boat. You could get a big cardboard box if you happen to have one. Uh, you could turn a table upside down and kind of put a sheet over the legs and get inside it. Um, I don't know. You're going to have to look around your house and find a way to build a boat so you can get in the boat. All right. And then we'll learn just a little bit more about Jesus and some time he spent with his friends, the disciples, after he came back to life. All right, so here's your pause to go build your boat. Hi guys, so here I am in my boat. Row, row, row your boat. And hopefully you're in yours. This part of the story is pretty quick, but it's a really good story. And I thought you'd like to hear it today. So on this day, Jesus' disciples decided that they were gonna go out fishing. 
And so they went out late, like after dinner and fished all night, threw their nets out. Can you throw your net out? Pull the nets in, no fish. Throw the nets out, throw yours out. Pull it up, guess what? No fish. Do it again, throw it out, pull it up, no fish. Oh, oh, all night long they fished and they fished and they didn't catch not even one fish. And so the sun was starting to come up, so they're rowing their boat, they're going back to shore. They gave up, not catching any fish today. Here they go, here they go. When all of a sudden over on the shore, they see a man. And the man hollers out to him and waves and says, hey guys, did you catch any fish? And of course, Jesus' disciples had to say, no, we didn't catch any fish, not even one fish. Oh. And so the man on the shore says, well, throw your nets on the right side of the boat. And so they were like, okay. So they tried it again. They gave it another go, get your net and throw it on the other side of the boat and pull up. They went to pull up their nets and it was so full and so full of fish that they couldn't even pull it up. And then John, the disciple, looked at the shore and said, oh, it's Jesus. And Peter, Peter, who was always, you know, jumping ahead to do stuff, he got up, put his coat on, jumped out of his boat and swam to shore to see Jesus as the others rowed the boat to shore to see Jesus. And when they got to shore and they pulled their nets up, Jesus had a campfire lit on the beach and they, they had a breakfast together with bread and with fish and they got to see each other, talk to each other. And just for a little uh, trivia, they, in that net of heavy fish, when they counted them, there was 153 big fish in their nets. And their nets didn't even get torn up or ruined with all those fish and all that weight. And so they grilled some with Jesus on the beach and they had a great breakfast together and they got to talk and hang out. And just what a fun day with Jesus, you know, and what a good catch of fish. So I'm going to hit pause now. You're going to hit pause now. And I want you to talk to your family about if you could do something fun with Jesus today, would it be fishing? Would it be going to the beach? What would it be? What would you like to do today? If you could have Jesus go with you and do something fun, what would it be? All right, here's your pause. Hi guys. All right. Story is over. We actually had two stories today, both of them about Jesus and his disciples enjoying some time together. So for our activity today, what I would like you and your family to do is to take a simple walk. And while you go on that walk, I would like for you to talk about Jesus. Talk about what you know, what you don't know, what you're curious about, what you like, what you love, what you don't know. I don't know. Talk whatever you want to talk about, but talk about Jesus. All right. So you're going to go out in nature. You can go in your neighborhood. You can go to a park or you can use a trail and enjoy God's world and all that he made for us. And while you're doing that, talk about Jesus to your family. All right. So let's have a prayer before we do a worship song. All right, let's bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for our lesson today on spending time with Jesus and walking with him and fishing with him and eating with him and listening to him. Um, it was a great story and we're just so thrilled to see Jesus this and his Jesus and his friends as they get to spend time together again. I know that when he was killed on the cross and buried that they thought it was all over and it just must be such a joyful time for them to get to see him and spend time with him and be with their friend again. And um, it just gives us hope for the future when we're gonna to get to be together again with our friends. And we've got Jesus in you to hold on to till then. And so in Jesus' name, we all pray together, amen. Okay, 
So your worship songs today are Every move I make, I make in you. You make me move, Jesus. That's a fun song. And it's from uh, years ago. That song's been around for a long time. I think my girls liked to sing that when they were little. So there's a link to that one. And the other song, I have decided to follow Jesus. Because usually when we sing it here at church, we walk around like we're following him. And since today they were walking with Jesus... And since you're going to take a walk with your parents and talk about Jesus, um, I thought I've decided to follow Jesus was a good one. There's another good song, Walking with Jesus, but I couldn't find a good YouTube video for it. So you might want to just Google it, Walking with Jesus, and see what you can find. Um, but anyway, have fun and sing loud and dance about and... You know, I miss you all, as always, and would love to see pictures of you and your story today, maybe in your boat. And um, so if you made a boat, hopefully you did. And if you took a picture of it, send it to me. If you want to take a picture or a little video while you're taking your walk, I'd love to see that as well. I miss you. And I just hope that you're enjoying having your parents teach you about Jesus and God and the Bible as much as I enjoy teaching you about it. And uh, I look forward to when I can start doing it again. And uh, not that your parents will quit, <laughs> just that I'll get to see you again. I love you all. Have a great week and mwah!